Chelsea is roughing in our boxes, I am going to start wiring our panel. So we'll see how that goes. So this is gonna go straight out there. This one's gonna be next. This one's last. So these go into the panel. See what we got first. Upstairs bathroom heater. Upstairs bathroom heater can be this one. This will sit. So start with the ground. And I don't want to bring it all the way down, but I don't necessarily want to have it all the way at the top, so we'll cut it off like right there. So there's our ground. It's gonna go in. I wanna see it on the other side a little bit. Tighten her down. She's snug. That ground staying out of the way, perfect. So our neutral is gonna land on the same bus. Oh. What we might want to do actually is run our neutrals that way behind the panel because there's all this space under here. So this one's going to come out and connect right into there. So I want it coming out. Probably go in front of that neutral over, leave us a little slack. The last thing on the electrical we had to do before the inspection is wire the panel. Wiring the panel isn't very hard. One of the hardest parts was standing on a ladder leaning up against the house next to the panel while wiring it. It just kind of put everything at a weird angle, but we had to do that because we hadn't backfilled all around the house yet. We still don't have our main conduit lines for the power coming into the panel yet, so we couldn't backfill. The other hard thing to wrap my head around is that in a main service panel where you have your main disconnect and it's not a secondary panel, your grounds and your neutrals are terminated to the same bus bar, which means basically your grounds and neutrals go the same place, which is confusing to me and it just doesn't make sense. I looked up on the internet why and how that works and it I still can't wrap my head around it. But besides that, it's pretty simple. You plug the neutrals in the grounds into your bus bar. Make sure that bus bar is bonded to the panel in some way with some screws. And then click your breakers in. Most of the breakers nowadays just snap right into place. And then terminate your hot wire on the breaker. And that's about it. So now this one is going to come go under, come up, and right into there. And then this, being the nice outlet that it is, it's just gonna go up and hook in like the other ones.
As you can see, it has a red and a black, and then our breaker, which is this middle one right here, that 30 amp, one red and one black is gonna go into there. It doesn't really matter which one. The other kind of weird thing in the panel is not every circuit gets a normal circuit breaker. Some outlets in specific areas like bedrooms, I believe, and living rooms need arc fault breakers. Um, I'm not completely sure how they work, but they're basically, in my understanding, just more sensitive to different types of faults in the system. So how you wire those is the neutral coming from that circuit doesn't terminate on that neutral ground bar that we had seen before. The neutral actually gets plugged into the circuit breaker itself, and then the circuit breaker has a neutral pigtail that comes off of it that gets plugged into that neutral bar. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm sure you could find some good articles on the internet, but that's one of the other kind of weird things that we had to put in. For our well pump, we need a double pole 15 amp breaker, which is kind of hard to find. So running our well pump off at of 220 volts only takes seven amps or so. I think it might be nine amps. So a 15 amp breaker is well within what we can use. However, finding a double pole, meaning it connects to two different legs of the hot is hard for with the 15 amp breaker to make these little connecty thingies. So what we'll do is you put it in one, there's a little hole. I don't know if you can see that in there. Let's see if I can, there's that little hole. This has a little nipple, fits in that hole. It doesn't fit in that hole well, but it fits in that hole. So that fits in that hole. We'll do the same thing on this one. And then they're connected so that they move up and down together. Those are connected. So if one side of it trips, it trips the other side too. We'll see if the inspector is okay with that. for solar and personal vendetta inputs. Two little ants are trying to carry away one way right. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. It's adorable. That sounds adorable. So then, look at that, Charles. Now we gotta label them. Do you remember what everything goes to? Ah, oh, I made a mistake already. So, for our, arc fault breakers which means that I don't know what it means <laughs> I have no idea what it means hey, I thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's been a couple weeks since we put out a video but we should have them back up to about once a week after this feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know if you have any questions make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already